Hey guys, so welcome to Cloud Tech. In this video, we are going to show you how to find whether a given number is a prime number or not. And after that, we will try to print uh, 1 to 100 prime numbers. So let us start with the coding. So can you tell me how to write a Java program to check whether the given number is a prime number or not? Uh, yes, a prime number is a number which is uh, divisible by one or itself. So it has only two factors, one and itself. So consider for example, five. Five is divisible by one and only by five. So that is a prime number. So let's try to uh, write the code for finding the prime number. So a uh, public static void main, as we know, is the starting point of your Java program. Uh, let's try to write a method which will be uh, telling us if the number is prime or not. So I'm going to make this uh, method as public. And I'm going to make this method as static because I'm going to call this from my main method. And then this is going to uh, return a Boolean. Uh, Boolean, if the number is prime, then this is going to return true. Else it is going to return false. So that is the reason the return type is Boolean. And I'm going to name this method as is prime. All right. Uh, and is prime is going to accept a parameter of integer type. So it is going to be integer n. Uh, we are going to pass this n from outside. All right. And as this is going to uh, return Boolean, that is the reason this is giving me error. So let's try to uh, write the logic for is prime. First of all, uh, one is not prime. Uh, so we have to check if n is less than two. So any number which is less than two is not prime. So in this case, I'm going to return false, specifying that this is not a prime number. Uh, all right. So let's try to uh, write logic for numbers which are greater than or equal to two. For that, I'm going to write a for loop so for integer i uh, is equal to two. We are going to start from two because anyways, we know uh, the numbers which are less than two are not prime number. So i equal to two, uh, i is less than n by two. So for example, consider uh, an example of a prime number uh, five. So five is a prime number we know. <clears throat> so we know five is divisible by one and only by five. So if I try to divide five by two, so it comes somewhere around uh, 2.5, but as we are taking integer into account, so it will be a uh, round off to two. Okay, so if I try to divide five by two, uh, that is enough to uh, see if the number is prime or not. So that is the reason we are uh, iterating till n by two and not till n, okay? So uh, that is the logic behind n by two and then i plus plus. So I'm going to increment the i. So within this, I'm going to check if the number which I got from outside uh, is divisible by i. So to check that, I'm going to write a condition. If n uh, modulus i equal to equal to zero. So if any number modulus uh, i is equal to equal to zero. That means remainder is zero. In that case, the number is divisible. So in this case, I'm going to return false. And at the end of this loop, for loop, if the number is uh, not divisible by any number, in that case, I'm going to return true. So if your logic uh, reaches at line number 16, it suggests that your uh, number is prime number. All right, so let's try to check Call this method and check if the number is uh, prime. So I'm going to take one number, integer uh, n equal to, for example, 19, and I'm going to call uh, if is prime. So is prime is my method that we just wrote, and we are going to pass n. All right. And if it is prime, then we are going to sys out uh, the number is prime. The number is prime. All right. And uh, if it is not, then uh, else. We are going to specify sys out. Uh, the number is not prime. The number is not prime. So let's try to uh, run this logic with n as 19. So we all know that n is a prime number. So let's try to run and see if n is a prime. So n is a prime number. I will change the input to, for example, 6. And we know 6 is not a prime number. So let me run this logic. Uh, number is not a prime number. So uh, that is a program for uh, finding if it is a prime or not. Okay, perfect. It is working as expected. Can you try to print all the numbers which are prime from 1 to 100? 
Okay. Okay. So we want to print all the numbers that are prime uh, between one to hundred. So for that, I need a for loop. Okay. So I'm going to write a for loop for integer i equal to zero and i is less than or I'll start with one because we want to print uh, from one to hundred. I is less than or equal to hundred and then i plus plus. So this is my for loop. From this for loop, I'm going to call each prime method and I'm going to pass each element uh, that is i from one to hundred to this method. So let's try to copy uh, this logic at this year and instead of n i'm going to pass i because our counter is i and i'm going to remove this n because we don't want n so uh, let me also print i the number so i just want to print uh, the prime number i don't want to print uh, the non prime number so i'm going to remove the else part okay and uh, so here i'm going to print i plus is a prime number i is i is a prime number so this will print all the prime numbers and it will only print prime numbers and no other numbers will be printed so let me as you can see uh, it started from 2 2 is a prime number 3 4 4 is uh, 4 is not a 4 is not a prime number correct yes 4 is not a prime number all right so what happened n is equal to n by 2 so this is a condition that we are missing i think so let's try to run this program and now it is uh, clear so i should be less than or equal to n by 2 it should not be less than n by 2 okay so now you can see uh, 2 3 5 7 11 all the prime numbers between uh, 1 and 100 are printed correctly so just make sure this condition is n is less than or equal to n by 2 not just less than n by 2 so that's how we print uh, numbers between 1 and 100. Yeah, that's pretty good. Thank you. That's it from this guys, uh, from this videos, guys. Uh, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel so that will motivate us to create more videos like this. Thank you. Bye bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye bye.